Hey guys, I hope you're having an awesome day. I wanted to jump in here because um, one of the questions I get asked most whenever people are getting started with their essential oils and supplement routine is actually how do I know what essential oils to use um, or how to use them? And for about two years, I actually just used um, my own insight, the essential oil reference books that I had. Some of you guys know this, I'm a total nerd. I actually have my degree in, in master's in library science, so I love my, my reference books and medical publications. But I was exposed to a company that created a a technology that allows you to scan the frequencies within your body to discover exactly what essential oils or supplements can fill any kind of void in the frequencies. So basically, um, it's similar to like a fitness tracker where it scans those metrics in your body and reports back via an app or a tablet. And what I absolutely love about this is because so often I can use my gut, use my intuition, use the, the reference books. However, those aren't telling me exactly what I need to know. And our bodies are a little bit different chemically. Um, so one oil may work for somebody for a certain ailment and another one may work for me for a, a different ailment or the same ailment. So what I love is it's a tool called the Itovi scanner and it is really cute and convenient. Um, it's tiny, so I actually can take this in my purse or wherever I need to go. Sometimes I throw it in the diaper bag. Sometimes we use it at home. Um, this technology is something that it was developed to uncover both current situations and short-term health you know, problems or ailments or goals, but also your long-term you know, conditions or things that you're dealing with, whether it's uh, within your own life or generational. Um, so it's really able to uncover a lot of things that we might not be able to see ourselves. So with this um, Itovi, I wanted to show you how this works today because not only can I use this on me and my husband, but it actually is safe for any age. So I can use it on my girls as well. I started using this on Coralie when she was a baby because let's face it, little ones can't tell us exactly what's going on or how they feel. Yes, as your mama intuition, you can guess and you can try different things, but that might not necessarily be what's going on. So I'm able to actually use this device on both Corley and Remy, um, even as babies, which is really, really helpful um, whenever they can't quite express to me what's going on with them or how they're feeling. So to show you exactly how this works, um, I'm actually doing the live on my computer today. And I wanted to do that because it's actually an app um, that's on our phone that you can use. And I will go ahead and pull up my profile on here. And it just has my, uh, my email, my age range from 13 to 59. And you'll see here, I'm able to click scan now. I'm not going to press this just yet because I actually have to be holding my iTovi device for it to work. So you'll notice there's actually two different touch points here on my iTovi. There's one here on the front and one here on the side. This is something new that they added recently um, with their redesign. So basically their goal is for you to hold it in one area and press this into maybe your other palm to really create a nice connection and get a true read of your body. So I'm going to click scan now and start scan. So it'll just give me a little buzz letting me know that it got started and as it's scanning it actually walks you through a little video telling you exactly what's going on. So right now it's actually um, sending an electrical conductivity through my body to measure the different frequencies that are in my body state right now. Yes, so one thing that I get asked a lot about this is, is this gonna change if I do my scan in five minutes? 
Yes, because our bodies are always changing. We're a living, breathing human being. So your body's going to be slightly different than it was just a few minutes ago. However, the way that this is uh, most properly used is for you to use it once every 30 days or so to create a routine for yourself. So as you're getting started with your essential oils, there's different things that I suggest and I walk different clients through um, creating a routine. Um, there's very similarities in certain aspects, but we're all a little bit different with our health goals and our chemistry. So we create a specific routine and I love doing the Itovi scans to give them a really specific way to use their essential oils. So I just got the vibration notification that it is done. So I'm gonna let go of my device and I will show you uh, what my report says today. So I have a result here of what my body needs. So when it comes to our report, there's different information that the ITOBI will give us. It doesn't give us medical conditions or reasons behind um, certain oils or products because it's not a doctor. That's what your physician's for. However, it's a tool for you to really empower yourself to discover what's going on in your body and how you can bring it back into balance, back to that state of homeostasis where we can thrive. So my first three Typically, your first three results are something that is short-term, something that's happening in your body now or recently um, that you need to deal with so you can move on and feel better. The rest of the, the um, solutions are typically something that's a little bit more long-term or something to su support your long-term health goals or conditions, underlying conditions that cannot be solved overnight. Like for example, a headache is something that you can traditionally get rid of um, you know, pretty quickly when you're in the moment you have the headache. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it's very fast, but that's a short-term condition. However, if you have um, some sort of diagnosis or autoimmune condition, that's a long-term process that you need to work through and a uh, health ailment that you're working to always um, better yourself with. So I'll share you with you my results. These are very personal. Um, so we'll walk through those. The first thing that the ITOVI is telling me I need to use is the GI cleansing formula. So this is basically um, something that you can take. It's a supplement that flushes out your intestinal tract and gets rid of the bad bacteria, so you can refill it with good bacteria. As you guys may know this about me, I have lots of digestive issues. I have an autoimmune condition that relies heavily on, you know, within my digestive tract. So of course, this makes a lot of sense um, that the first thing that's gonna show up here is something to do with my gut. Um, I will tell you that I had recently either been glutened or exposed to something because I know this because my face is starting to break out right here. And I also deal with something that causes um, a skin rash if I get exposed, exposed to gluten. Um, and I have been experiencing that on my arms and my elbows and my knees, um, which is another telltale sign for me that I ha am having a reaction to gluten wheat, rye, or barley. So this first result makes total sense for me in actually both the short-term and the long-term goals of my health. Uh, the second one is ginger. So ginger is known as an essential oil to support digestion. There are so many benefits of this. It's a very calming, gentling oil for your body, and it helps with any kind of motion sickness, nauseousness, uh, it helps to increase circulation, and has a warming effect on the body. Well, I was actually just reading an article yesterday, and it was all about how to prepare your body for the fall depending on your um, Ayurvedic profile. So depending on what kind of dosha you are, if it sounds like I'm speaking a whole other language, just stick with me for one second. <laughs> but basically, um, my imbalances whenever it comes to Ayurveda are vata pitta, which means that I thrive um, 
basically with, um, you know, I need to balance that by having slower movements, activities, meditation, grounding exercises. I'm always um, creating that. Um, my brain is always working. I'm always coming up with new ideas, which is why you probably see so many different posts and ideas and recommendations from me. Um, but as we get into the fall season, it's a really amazing time of year to, to actually cleanse your body. But as you turn into August, the if you're in the the U.S. or Canada, the fall, it starts to cool off. In August, it's actually starting to get cooler at night. Our, our night is getting longer. Our days are getting shorter as we're preparing for fall. And that can actually have an effect on our bodies and the circulation and the temperature of our bodies. And I actually have been noticing recently that my body is um, getting more of a chill it is feeling a little cooler um, at night, especially when we have, um, we don't have air conditioning in our bedroom. Our whole house has it, but our bedroom. So we have a, a unit that we use um, that draws the outdoor air in to cool down the, the room. And I've been noticing whenever I do wake up in the morning, it's nice and cool from that outside brisk um, kind of feeling in the morning. So for me, this really makes sense for circulation and getting that warming effect on my body because it has been feeling cool lately. And my third essential oil that came up is Roman chamomile. So Roman chamomile, uh, I absolutely love this essential oil. It's very calming. It's very soothing. It's a wonderful alternate to lavender, especially at nighttime to calm the body and relax for sleep and bedtime. I didn't get a very great night's sleep last night. I was up uh, probably until like two in the morning just because I, I, my brain was on fire. I was like running through different ideas and creating and working on some projects that I, I can't wait to release to you guys. Um, so I was up late and woke up early. So of course it makes sense that something for sleep came up. The other um, products that come up came up and uh, essential oils were our cellular vitality complex. This is actually something that I take every day, and it also makes sense because um, you know I mentioned I have that underlying autoimmune condition, and that affects our a set of DNA level, our cellular level. Um, it affects our brain function. It, it, affects how our body uh, reacts to itself. So it does make sense that this supplement came up. We have um, also have protective blend soft gels. So our On Guard soft gels is something else that came up. It's a little bit different than our On Guard oil itself. There's also uh, Melissa and black pepper and some other, other essential oils in there in that soft gel form only. So um, it makes sense whenever it comes down to our immune system, protecting against seasonal ailments. Clary Sage um, is another oil that came up. It's a great uh, relaxing oil. It's wonderful for our hormones, uh, which makes sense because the last three years I've had two babies, so my hormones are all over the place. <laughs> so I, of course, need to continue balancing those hormones. And we live in a house with now three ladies. Are, well, actually, there's me, my two girls, our dog is a girl, and I have eight uh, chickens as well that are all hens and females. So our whole place is just swarming with ladies and hormones, <laughs> even at the animal level. So of course this could make sense for both the sleep um, from last night, not getting such a restful sleep, but also the continual work that I'm doing to balance my hormones from pregnancy multiple times in the last three years. Um, and then the final blend that came up for me is our respiratory blend called Breathe. This is an amazing oil to help with respiratory function. Uh, one of the other issues I have is I need a lot of support with my, my respiratory system. If I do get gluten, it affects my lungs uh, very, very quickly. I won't say immediately because it's it doesn't close off my airways like that, but I start to clear my throat. I get a cough. Um, I have inflammation in my lungs. I'll get extra mucus. Um, so that's something that has been around for a while for me. 
and it's a something I, I continually try to support. I actually use that blend in my diffuser almost every single night. I experiment some other nights, but on a regular basis, this essential oil is in there. It helps me get a restful sleep because its whole idea is to open up your airways and um, whenever you open up your airways, you get more oxygen into your body so you can get a more restful sleep. So I mentioned typically the top three um, things that show up on the Itobi scanner are our current or short-term health things that are happening in our body. And when it comes to that, sometimes it can be not only physical, but also emotional. So every time that I do my scan, which is usually once a month, sometimes a little bit more, especially if something new has come up in my system or there's um, some kind of immune issue that I need to deal with or a seasonal threat or, or something that just pops up, I'll also run the scan. But every time I run the scan, I go through my emotions and essential oils book because this actually breaks down the emotional side of our essential oil beyond the physical way that they can impact us. So I just want to check the top three um, products. So the, the GI cleansing formula that came up first for me will not be in here. It's not an essential oil. It's a, it's a supplement to clear our digestive tract, uh, but ginger and Roman chamomile are the other top three. So let me look up ginger and I'm just going to read a little, um, little snippet in here for you from ginger and its effect on the body. So wow, this is really interesting. I've got ginger here. Ginger is the oil of empowerment. Um, ginger holds no reservation. This oil has a purpose and a will to fulfill it. Ginger powerfully persuades individuals to be fully present and participate in life. It teaches us that to be successful in life, one must be wholly committed to it. It addresses deep patterns of victim mentality, which is evident by feelings of powerlessness, believing everything is out of one's control, refusing to take responsibility, or blaming life circumstances on people or outside influences. Ginger empowers individuals in taking complete responsibility for their life circumstances. It infuses a warrior-like mentality based on t integrity, personal responsibility, and individual choice. Here, individuals see themselves as the creators of their own lives and no longer waiting for outside cir circumstances to change. They can choose their own destiny. Um, the empowered individual assumes full responsibility and accountability for the consequences for their actions or inactions. So the positive properties of ginger, the oil of empowerment, include empowered, committed, capable, purposeful, accountable. This, um, this emotional side actually really speaks to me because there's been a lot of work going on behind the scenes of my page lately that you guys might not have been exposed to or you know unless you know me very personally I haven't really shared um, deeply into kind of my role and how my life is changing and my new mission moving forward and it's actually all about empowering others um, to create a lifestyle revolution within their own life and whether that's within taking control of their health in a more natural way and having the tools in their own home to use like the essential oils or whether that's actually um, the financial side of it as well whenever they're feeling stuck at a nine to five or a corporate job or something that they just don't love and their passion is not there for. I've been helping others create more of a lifestyle freedom and building a life around what they love. So yes, of course, that's within the doTERRA opportunity, the network marketing side of things, but it's also within creating a more passive income stream and a residual income stream. So the network marketing side of things creates that residual for us that can really change um, the future of not only our lives, but start to create a legacy for our children. But the passive side is really fulfilling from your passion, finding out what you truly love, and would love to teach or share with others and creating something passive 
around that that you can sell and share with others. Um, recently, I did this with Canva templates. I am actually a geeky person whenever it comes to online. I used to love Photoshop. Now I've kind of switched over and I love working in Canva. It's a free photo editor or um, graphics creator, I guess you could call it. So kind of that free alternative to Photoshop. So I created graphics and a lead magnet template and social media templates and all sorts of stuff for women entrepreneurs to really rock their branding and their presence online. And I took that off of a website that I was seeing some passive income from, but it was just a couple hundred dollars a month and created my own sales funnel and set this up and started sharing it with others, uh, writing Facebook ads to this, this passive product of mine. And in the last two months, um, it has sold over $13,000 worth of this passive product for me. Now it's not all income because I do have expenses. I am running ads and I do have support behind the scenes, some support <laughs> behind the scenes so I can really spend the time where I'm passionate, which is truly helping and teaching others. Um, so not only have I been doing that, but I recently watched uh, a podcast on the MLM Authority podcast which teaches women how to approach their network marketing business in a different light than maybe what their upline or what they've been currently um, doing. And that's by owning your own story, owning your authority, owning your credibility, and taking that to a next level by, by jumping into that authority position in your business. So people are starting to come to you to work with you instead of you always chasing people. So I have been just in total creation mode, um, not only with this, but developing resources for my, my essential oil team, uh, my business partners within doTERRA, not only on how to approach social media, um, how to use your strengths to grow a business. So I've been developing a ton of different resources um, for my team and really taking purposeful action. And trying to stay present in my life while this is happening. And I guess that shows up by adding in the support where I needed it, where I wasn't getting it before. And um, having the ability to you know, let go of total control on what I'm working with because I'm a little bit of a um, perfectionist whenever it comes to my business. And sometimes that can show up differently for people. And for me, that means I have trouble letting go of responsibility. So adding uh, an assistant to help me with certain things within my social media, um, especially inside my groups to make sure they're engaged and committed and growing. Um, so I can totally see how Ginger um, showed up on my iTobi scan. And uh, the second oil in the last oil I want to read from here because I'm looking at those top three products that showed up for me. The third one was Roman chamomile. And, oh, I actually, <laughs> I just got chills um, whenever I turned the page and saw what this is the essential oil for. So Roman chamomile, whew, I'll show you here. It's actually the oil of spiritual purpose. Um, I had no idea this would be something that came up. I did the scan with you guys on here live, so I had no idea what was gonna show up. Um, but like I said, it just gave me chills. Let me read a little bit about what Roman chamomile supports us with emotionally. So Roman chamomile supports individuals in discovering and living their true life's purpose. Whew, just a big one here. <laughs> Regardless of what someone does for a living, they can find purpose and meaning in life. Purpose isn't defined simply by outward actions of individuals. It is housed within their hearts and their soul radiates out into the world. As individuals live from the center of their beings, they find power and purpose that is indescribable. They also feel calmer and more at peace. I feel like I'm going to start crying here. So huh, let's see if I can continue reading this <laughs> without the tears coming. So Roman chamomile assists a person in shedding the meaning meaningless activities that consume their lives so they can focus on a more fulfilling work, even the work of their own souls. 
Ooh, this, this oil assistant feeling connected to and supported by divine helpers and guides and calms insecurities about following one spirit, spiritual path. When in doubt, Roman chamomile softens the personality, easing the overactive ego mind, and it and restores one's confidence in doing what they came to this earth to do. People fearfully believe that if they do what they love, they will end up destitute. Roman chamomile reminds them to do what they love to experience true success. So some of the positive properties of Roman chamomile include purposeful, guided, peaceful, fulfilled, fulfilled relaxed, and spiritually connected. Oh my. <laughs> so that's a big one that came up for me. And if you have uh, actually watched the whole live, you you may be feeling that too after what I told you, just different things that have been going on in my life and my business. And I've been on a more of a spiritual path actually since December. Uh, we had something pretty, um, pretty impactful affect our family. And I haven't spoken about it too much publicly, but you know, just to say that it, it really gave me an insight into how short life can be, how things can change in just a, an instant. And I took that calling to um, do something that I'd always wanted to do, which was go through a yoga teacher training. And I, I tell you, I have been loving uh, yoga since I first experienced it. Whenever I was in college, I thought it would be a kind of a an easy A fitness credit um, to get me through my undergrad. And what I found was something that really uh, spoke to my soul. And I've been an on and off yogi for the last, oh geez, probably 12 or 13 years now. And over the last few years, it's really become a, a must have in my practice, um, whether that's weekly or, or I try to have it daily within my practice. Um, and <laughs> love it. I grab my Roman chamomile. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mary. I appreciate that. Um, so within my yoga journey, it's, it was really um, not only something that really called to me at a spiritual level, but there was a lot of things that came up that I didn't know would come up. Um, the person that guided our yoga teacher training, she has a lot of training in energy healing and um, from a young age, she was able to really connect with people at a different level and experience different realms than what everybody else is is used to, which um, I may be getting a little woo-woo here for you. Um, <laughs> try to stick with me if I am. But basically, um, I guess what I'm trying to say behind that is I've always been an empath and I've felt other people's emotions and I've been easily able to feel their their souls and um, you, know, it, it's it can hold a lot of weight on your own emotions and take a toll on your own body. Uh, but when it comes to everything that I've been working on lately and kind of letting go of what people are may think of me or letting go of what I quote thought I've been supposed to be doing um, or what others. Um, kind of would like me to do. I've been working to let go of this and shed those uh, mindsets, shed those thoughts, shed those activities. And um, to me, this just really speaks to that, that I'm working in the right direction. And of course, with some support from my Roman chamomile, it's only going to continue on this, you know, purposeful and guided path. Um, so I know that Kind of went a whole different direction in this live than what I thought it would, but I appreciate you guys sticking with me and uh, being open to seeing the possibilities whenever you use the right tools. Um, so the tools I used today and I will be using today um, include the iTobi scanner, which is um, that app that's connected to a device um, called the iTobi. I'll post a link after I'm done fit with this live so you can get more information on that. Or if you have questions, feel free to PM me because I've been using this for about two and a half years now to really see some differences in the way that I approach my um, my products and my essential oils. Um, and then of course, after this, I'm going to, as soon as I get home, 
use uh, my essential oils. I'll actually, I think what I'll do, um, especially after reading the emotional side of this is I think I will actually create a roller blend with Roman chamomile and with ginger and maybe I'll check back through some of the other results that came up. So I have that ready to go in an easy to use roller ball to use whenever I want to. And as I mentioned, um, this is something that creates a routine for me. So just one single use of now these essential oils that come up that came up and after seeing both the physical side of the benefits of them and now especially diving into the emotions, I know this is something that not just one drop of Roman chamomile or one drop of ginger is going to support me through. This is going to be something that I, I continue to work on um, both physically and emotionally um, over the next month or few months uh, depending on how I feel and again what my skin says in a couple more weeks. So I hope this is really helpful for you guys. If you've had questions about using the Itovi scanner or if you have one of your own and you've had experiences like this, I would absolutely love to hear those in the comments. Um, otherwise, I hope you have a an awesome day, a purposeful guided day and driven day, and I will talk to you soon.